Welcome inside the Woody Hayes Athletic Center. Dan Hope joined by Andy Anders for another episode of press coverage. Rust after we interviewed James Laurinaitis and Matt Guerreri, two of the newest assistant coaches at Ohio State. Uh, Chip Kelly was not available today, but the two uh, new defensive assistants were, and uh, we both had a chance to talk to them. You spent most of your time with Matt Guerreri. I spent most of my time with James Laurinaitis, but both of them were here for about 30 minutes talking about uh, being new members of Ohio State's coaching staff and, uh, you know, certainly uh, an insightful conversation. I think for me, like, sitting there listening to James Laurinaitis talk, one of the big things that really struck me is you, know, you can see how this guy is going to be a good recruiter with him talking about how Ohio State has changed his life and how, you know, vi what the community has done for him at Ohio State and now to be here achieving his dream of being Ohio State's linebackers coach. He, he mentioned it at one point. It's not like he's a car salesman. He's not, he's not going to have to try to sell something he doesn't believe in. He has seen what playing for Ohio State can do for his own life, and now he can sell that to the linebackers he's going to coach. I got the same sense talking to Matt Guerrero, you know. The, the, um, he's got a confidence in what this program can do development-wise, and he talked about that as a reason that he was willing to go from a defensive coordinator job to being a position coach again is – being around who he called the best defensive coordinator in the country, Jim Knowles, who he called the best head coach in the country, Ryan Day. Um, and obviously, you know, it was to that familiarity with Jim Knowles that made him, uh, an, it was another big thing that drove the hire, how easy it'll be to implement and explain his scheme. But it is that recruiting aspect, right? That um, Matt's ability to hit the trail. Um, he said it's all about relationships, being authentic and genuine, um, which is something you always hear a lot in recruiting, right? Recruiting is about relationships. But um, I think his charisma and his uh, ability to sell Ohio State was clear uh, talking to him today. And I, I think that recruiting aspect is a big reason why Ohio State moved in that direction at safeties, Coach. Yeah, I mean, these are two guys. They're both in their 30s. They're both younger guys. They're charismatic guys. They're guys who even before they were full-time coaches, because both of these guys have been on the staff before. James Laurinaitis was a graduate assistant at Ohio State last year. Matt Guerreri was an advisor slash analyst at Ohio State two years ago. Players have always talked really highly about them. They've done a good job of connecting with recruits, even when they weren't out on the road recruiting. Now they are able to go out on the road at on the road recruiting is uh, members of a full-time coaching staff and I think uh, both of them are have the potential to be assets for Ohio State in that regard. Certainly in terms of their position groups, you know, two interesting position groups on this team too and you know, starting at linebacker, James mentioned that you know Cody Simon's the only returning guy at that position who has any starts under his belt and so the big question for him from a football perspective today is really you know who's going to be that other guy is it going to be CJ Hicks is it going to be Gabe Powers could it be Sonny Styles when he was talking about Sonny Styles you know didn't necessarily say whether he thought Sonny would end up at linebacker but compared him to Isaiah Simmons the former Clemson linebacker who was kind of a hybrid guy could move all over the field I know I've thought of that comparison before myself yes. with Sonny Styles. To hear James make it is interesting in terms of how Sonny could potentially be used as a guy who could potentially move all over the defense this year. And then C.J. Hicks is certainly a guy that people have a lot of interest in as a five-star recruit going into his junior year. We haven't seen him play much yet in his first two seasons, but James uh, said, you know, really... The three guys he mentioned who it seems like are going to be most in the mix to potentially be that other starting linebacker are C.J. Hicks, Gabe Powers, and Arvell Reese. James seems excited about the potential of all of them. Did say it's specific to C.J. He thinks it's going to be a big spring for C.J. And he, he thinks that the fact that that starting Will linebacker job is actually open now, maybe that gives C.J. that extra level of motivation, that extra level of buy-in he needs to get to where they need him to be to feel confident in him being their starting little linebacker this year. You mentioned Sonny Styles in that discussion. We got a chance to talk to Matt a little bit about Sonny. And, you know, I, I think that, again, there isn't a certainty as to where Sonny's future is in this defense. You know, Matt wasn't talking one way or the other whether he's going to be a linebacker or a safety, but did, again, point to Sonny's versatility and how they feel he can be used in different areas around the defense, like you said, uh, how they feel he can plug into different spots, sort of be that versatile chess piece uh, that they can use, that they can move around. Uh, now, of course, the big, big addition to Matt Guerrero's room this offseason was Caleb Downs. And, you know, a, a, 
add him to the long list of people that have nothing but glowing, amazing things to say about Caleb Downs. Uh, to, today, uh, he talked, he compared him to a sponge, said that he's put in as many hours as anyone since he's gotten here, Caleb has, coming in early, leaving late. He wants to learn the defense and be ready to contribute and earn that starting job this spring. It's clear uh, in Caleb's perspective there. And, you know, it's the, the thing that he said that was really interesting was that, you know, he basically said that good safeties, they react to things one of two ways. Like, really good safeties react one of two ways. Either mentally, they see something on the field, it clicks and they react to it. And then physically, you know, just like having that physical agility reaction time to go out and get it. And he said that Caleb is elite at both. And that's what separates him is the ability to diagnose at an elite level but then still have the physical attributes the agility the burst the speed all of that to make plays on the ball um so uh, and again more reason to be excited about caleb downs uh, nothing breaking there for buckeye fans you know this is this is an elite safety but uh still uh, someone that macarary is very excited to work with clearly well, you can hear all of what they had to say by watching our videos of both of their interview sessions on our YouTube page. And we'll have more coverage from uh, these media availabilities on 11warriors.com. And we'll also be talking more about what we heard today on RealPod Wednesdays, which will be available on the YouTube channel on Wednesday, as you might expect. So thanks for tuning in, and we'll talk to you again soon.